Hello, beautiful artists. It's Alexandra. We have some art to make. It's been a while and there's lots going on. So let's just take a moment and think about what we have done together. We've been working on artist traditions. We talked about still life and we played with all our different textures and brush strokes. We thought about landscapes, places we can go and create with our mind. Now, my friends, today, I thought we should definitely make a work of art of one of the most important people in the whole world, <gasps> you. Now, some people would call this a self-portrait. If you would like, you can make a traditional self-portrait. Grab a mirror and draw, and I will show you all the different ideas I have for that, or you could play. So we could play with line, we could play with shape, we could play with feelings, we could play with color. There are so many different ways to draw yourself. I'm gonna start with the most basic way to make a self-portrait, which is you need to look in the mirror. You need to study that gorgeous face of yours, okay? I'm gonna start with the most basic approach and I'm using a white piece of paper and I am going to grab a Sharpie. Of course, for you, I recommend a pencil. Press light till you get it right. Now, hmm, the shape of your head. Again, if you're playing, you would change it a little, but the truth is the top of your head is all the way up here. Some people think this is the top. My hair is growing. Is your hair growing? And the bottom is down here, which means my eyes are kind of in the middle. Almost like the shape of an egg. Okay, notice how I went a little sketchy. It's a really helpful way for me to decide which line I'm going to make. And I'm going to think about a neck. Oh, is my neck like this? Now, sometimes I see kids and they make these little itty bitty shoulders, but actually your shoulders are big and strong. So this is a very traditional way to start. Now, if I'm right in the middle of my head, and my eyes are gonna be about there. I like to make my eyes like a football. So it's sort of like, look, a rainbow and a smile. And I like to double that line already just by doubling it. Look at how three-dimensional it looks. Remember, art looks funny when you're in the middle of it. Okay, we have our donuts. I'm using, we have our footballs, we add our donuts. My friends know this is a thing I like to say. Now I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm not even gonna touch what I call the munchkin. I like to make eyelashes on the side. You know what I always say, my brother, my big brother, you out there? He has longer eyelashes than me. So you never know, it really doesn't have to do with anything except for what you look like. Now we can play with how to make those eyes look really realistic. Let's do it right now. So we could, color in that munchkin. I'm gonna switch for a second and just show you. So I have green eyes. So I'm going to sort of go around and then I'm gonna keep this little, do you see it? It's hard to see, I'm so close. This little, little itty bitty space. I call that the glimmer. It's that little white space. So if you're one of my friends who loves like anime and things like that, that glimmer makes it look a little more realistic. And then I'll go back in and get the middle a little hard to see. Again, art looks funny when you're in the middle of it. Okay, time for a nose. Noses are tough, right? Because we don't have this like line. It's sort of just skin. So there are many ways to do it. I suggest you make letters. You know me in letters. A C, a wiggly J, and some friends like to do a little U in the middle. Kind of like the idea of a face. Now me, I am known to have a total smile. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy you're here and I'm so happy we have art in our life. So I'm gonna make a big smile. Now you could leave it like that. You can just make it very like cartoony or comic booky. You can really play with it. But if I'm gonna go kind of more realistic, I'm gonna make that lip a little fuller. I'm gonna do a dip in that lip. So you've been looking in the mirror. If you're gonna add teeth, you know that your teeth in the front. Oh, did anyone lose a tooth? That's fun. Okay, where were we? Because 
one of my friends called in the middle. We're back. We're back with my self-portrait. Now I have to look at and think about where are my ears? Oh, there they are. Right around here. So again, with that letter, I'm doing a letter C. I'm pulling it around. Does that look like me? Not so much. No, because what's missing? Oh my gosh, like everything? My eyebrows, which I can either do that big shape or I could have just done each little hair. Now, speaking of hair, okay, I'm gonna do my hair right now. So it was half up, half down, but I wanna show you what it looks like if I was to make, I'm gonna make a messy ponytail. Okay, so if I have short hair, if I have long hair, right? I wanna show you now, if you look at me right now, do you see, it looks like, oh, there's someone in the background, Mr. E right there, but you can actually see no ponytail. So I need to actually make it on this side, okay? So first I'm gonna start with the shape of my hair. Do you notice how I'm not doing like each little line? No. So if I'm gonna make the actual ponytail, I'm gonna make it a high ponytail on the side. And then I can go in and I can sort of like add that beautiful texture or I could do it the way my hair was before it was down, right? Now maybe I had a braid, I could draw that braid. There are so many ways to do this. If I have really curly hair, I'm not gonna go like do, 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 do. No, no. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna add that beautiful texture. I could even play. Now my ears are pierced, so I am gonna show that. But when I was like in fifth grade, my ears were not pierced. No, I waited a really long time, so you could decide, you could play and say, I'm just gonna add fancy jewelry that I don't have, or maybe I'm gonna add a shirt. I don't know what you're gonna do. Okay, so that's one just super basic, simple way to create a self-portrait. But remember, you know me, I love the idea of color, playing with color. So maybe you're somebody who wants to paint and you wanna create layers. So I started this one of me. You can always do that. Do I have skin that that's color? That is that color? No, I do not. Am I going to add a green nose? Do I have a green nose? Why, you're right, I do not. So sometimes as artists, we like to play with color, right? Art is all about making choices. And as you work, you get to be the person who decides, do I want myself to look very much like a cartoon and just keep that really simple? Do I want to build with more unusual color choices? Do I want it to be really busy with lots and lots of different details or do I wanna keep it really looking like me? You know, speaking of looking like me, I have special things that make me, me, like that little, that little spot right there, my beauty mark, right? What do you have that makes you look like you? So these are the things that we have to sort of decide when we are artists and we are playing. We're playing, we're playing. We're playing with color. Does that look like me? No, that's actually kind of a spooky version of me. I don't know. Now, what if you are somebody who has black paper? Maybe you do. Maybe you have like a cardboard box. Maybe you want to really, that didn't work so well, but maybe you want to really play and really say, hey, I'm going to draw myself in a really unusual way. And now that you know how to draw yourself, you get to sort of play with making portraits of all the people around you because portraiture is a tradition of how we remember. Think about all the people who didn't have cameras. How are we gonna show who we are? That's cute. Is that exactly how I want it to look? No, you know what? I have a lot of work to do. Let me get back to my work and I will check in with you later. And I can't wait to see what you're gonna make because the truth is when I started these, they looked pretty funny when I was in the middle of it. And so does this one still. So I can't wait to see what you make and your beautiful shining faces, whether they are pink or purple or orange or green, or maybe you just wanna keep it incredibly realistic. I can't wait to see. So, hey friends, I'll see you later. Come back, subscribe. And I'm so glad you're here. I'll talk to you later. Keep creating. Mwah.